So hello and welcome back to Talk of the Tyneside. Today I'm joined by Gateshead midfielder Danny Greenfield. Danny, how are you doing? All good, thank you, mate. All good. Fantastic. So, Danny, pre-season's gone well, it's fair to say. You know, six wins in six as we currently speak. What do you make of it all? It's been brilliant. You can't ask for much more. We've had some good tests, um, but we're trying to breed a winning mentality in six in six. I mean, we couldn't have done much more. Yeah, no, spot on. Of course, you go to South, at the time of recording, you go to Southfields tomorrow. What are you hoping for there? Another win. Uh, it's a tough test. Uh, I uh, busted certainly a recent interview. They're like the, the closest to us in terms of leagues um, and with their squad. And if it wasn't for the virus, they probably would have been in our league. So it's a real good test going into the first game of the season. And you mentioned that first game against Leamington next Saturday as well. Are you ready for it? Do you, do you feel ready? Do you feel the squad is ready? Oh, we've been ready. The boys are buzzing. We just can't wait for it to all get started now. We've had a tough pre-season, um, but no, we can't wait. Yeah, and of course, there's a lot of talk about this squad being capable of promotion, certainly from what I've heard. Would you say that is possible? Obviously, last season, you know, ended when it did, unfortunately, and you were picking up points then you weren't that far off the playoffs, but would you say the squad is even stronger this season and can push further? Well, most definitely. That has to be the aim. Um, the standard day in, day out in training is brilliant. It's just about um, taking that over into a game and fingers crossed we can do that on a consistent basis. Yeah, so basically, so I assume you go into any game that you, you, you come up against, any opposition, thinking we can win this game and we can get the Without three points. Doubt. Without a doubt, definitely. Spot on. Now, of course, in your in your younger days, you, you were at Man United and Barnsley. Uh, I know yeah. I've asked you this before, but I'll ask you again. How were your experiences there? Very good. Very good. Uh, Man United, you see a lot of players in the football league or in non-league that at the period of time in their career have been there. It's a brilliant education into the technical side. And uh, Barnsley, brilliant again. Done my scholar there. Made some good mates. But yeah, both very good. And, and what about individual targets this season? What are you aiming for? Of course, the, the, the club aim is promotion, but what are you aiming for in yourself? To give consistent performances week in, week out. I want to chip in with more goals, more assists, um, but just do my best um, for the team. That's the main part. But yeah, more goals and assists, that would be uh, brilliant. Yep. And of course, the last time I interviewed you, probably like this, we were at a stage where there was no fans in the gates. Now the fans are back. How good was that to get them back in? Incredible. Um, it was so good seeing back at Arlick. Well, I was out injured, but I was on the uh, commentary. You were. And it was just brilliant being amongst them. Um, and then they were brilliant when we played uh, Newcastle as well. So it's so good to have them back with a 12th man. Uh, but yeah, can't wait. Can't wait for them all to get back in. Because fingers crossed, because there were still quite a few. There's still a slight restriction in this, so... We need to get it full and it'll be a bouncing. Now, speaking of the Newcastle game, of course, you were back in, in the side for that and playing a Premier League under 23 side. Obviously, you won 4 1, a great result. But how was that game? Was it tough? Yeah, we just implemented what we wanted to do. Uh, we focused on what we've been doing in training and uh, we've done it really well, attack, uh, attacking and defensively. I thought our press were brilliant and uh, the finishes and the goals were frightening as well. So, Overall, a very, very good performance. And so what's it like to work under Mike and Busted in, in, the, in the change room and on the training pitches as well? It's brilliant. They demand a lot, and that's what you want as a player. Um, we all know what we need to do on a game day. They're clear with that. Um, and like I say, I'm coming into my third season with them both. And uh, I love playing under them. They're brilliant. Yeah. Now, moving off the field, I think I did ask you this last time as well, but I'll ask you again. Before a match, what sort of gets you hyped up? What what sort of tunes you listen to? What sort of things do you use to get yourself into game mode? I just like I just like to chill out. To be honest, a lot of players I know like the uh, the high tempo music and all that. I'm more just a slow chilled out music. I like to keep calm. Um, but other than that, mate, you just you just got to chill out zoning because um, you already know the types of players you'll be playing against with all the analysis we do and that. So you just got to focus on what you're going to do. But yeah, just chill out, listen to some good tunes. I'm trying to think. I listen to a variety of music, to be honest. To be fair, we need we need a new uh, change room uh, DJ as well. I wonder who that's going to be this Who's, season. Who, who was the previous one? Who was that? It was uh, George Smith jumped on it a couple of times. Um, I think I think it was, just must have been Judy, George Smith. Can't really think anyone else. 
Now, of course, you mentioned as well that you're coming into your third season here on Signside at Gateshead. So would you say you're happy you settled in here at the International Stadium? Yeah, definitely. Especially after the uh, games I got under my belt last season. Uh, just uh, looking forward to kicking on this season. But yeah, definitely settled. So would you say that you know your, your aim is to try and cement that place in the starting eleven and make sure that no one else gets gets ahead of you? For sure, mate. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the aim. And then when I'm playing as well, to chip in with the goals and assists, as I said before. Spot on. And finally, just to wrap things up, anything you'd like to say to the supporters of Gated? Because of course, you know they're back in the stands now. So anything you'd like to just say, just to wrap things up? Come down, support, get as many as as possible. Because even in the friendly games. We had a good few there, but the more support, the better. The boys love it. Um, But yeah, get down and support as much as possible. We'll be playing some nice football. We'll give it our all on the pitch, 110%, and fingers crossed we can uh, get promoted. Spot on. That does wrap this interview. So, Danny, thank you very much once again. No, we appreciate it. And so, yeah, I'll see you all very soon. Thank you all very much for watching. And how are the heed? How are the heed?